and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate video, guys. And today I'm going to be going over the most overpowered players in Madden 20 right now, guys. Now, haven't made this video in quite a while. But we've had so many NFL 100 drops, zero chill, out of position, ghost. There's so many new cards. You guys probably want to know who are the best players in Madden at this point. I also know that a lot of people are going to be getting Madden for Christmas. So a lot of you guys probably don't even know who are any of the best players in Madden. So the video should help you guys. Now you guys have been asking where are the winners for 25 days of Pood Miss. Now as you guys do know, guys, I've been super busy with Christmas shopping, finals, YouTube. I've been so busy this week. I've had no time. Like, I, I literally, I'm not joking. Like I click post and i leave i don't even post enough i just put it up and i leave my house but guys i'm backed up about three days so i promise you either probably in today's 10 30 video going over the new ltd i will probably be announcing there so check that out if it's not there i promise you'll be in the community tab today I'll be announcing three winners make up for the last three days and then we're probably ramping up the last few giveaways going to this final week of 25 days of food miss but i show you guys everyone else has gotten their coins other than the last three days as you guys can see my coin stack has been rapidly changing every video so it's probably a good sign, but let's get into this video guys. Oh, 25 days of food miss. All you guys gotta do is enter is like the video, subscribe to the channel, and then comment down below your gamer tag. I mean, not your gamer tag, your console and your, um, the secret word you hear throughout the video. Pretty standard at this point. All right, let's get into the video. So first on this list, we're gonna be starting from the back, obviously, because from the back makes it a little more fun. We'll work our way up to number one. Now the guy in the back saddens me to have him here because he's still one of the best cards in the game, but for the time being, he is not the best card. So coming in number 10 is a guy that I currently have, and I'm gonna be rocking with for a while, probably the rest of the year, most likely. Uh, it's Lamar Jackson. Now the Blitz Lamar Jackson, going for a pretty decent price at this point. 411 is not horrible. He was a little bit cheaper initially when Mahomes first came out, but he did come back up. Now guys, this, this is Lamar Jackson. There's a reason why I have him on this list still. On my, on my team, with all the cams and everything, he has above 90, he has 93 speed. On my team, actually, he has 94 speed. He has, like, a 92 throw power, a 90 short accuracy, an 87 medium accuracy. He has a 90 deep accuracy, like, a 94 throw under the pressure, and then a mid-90 throw in the run play action. Now, this card, guys, when I... Obviously, escape artist for every card is the same thing. You, you run really fast to the back. But when you pass on a scrimmage, I'm able to juke out linebackers. And not juke, I can, I can do stick work with them, which you're never able to do with a quarterback. I can do stick worth, get around, get around a linebacker. I take him 70 yard runs, 80 yard touchdown runs. And I'm just saying he's so big on like third down. Like on like even like a third and like five, when, I, when, he, when everyone wants to cover all my routes, I just take it up the middle. And when it's one-on-one -on -one with the linebacker, it's, it's done. You just go, you fake left, and then you just stick skill right and back right. I'm telling you, Lamar Jackson's glitchy. And although the only thing he's missing, honestly, is maybe a little bit more throw power and medium accuracy. Other than that, he's probably the best quarterback in the game. There's only one guy who's slightly better than him right now, and that's the guy that's going to come right above him at number nine. And guys, Lamar, just letting you know, he will be number one on this list soon. When he gets his MVP card, his NFL MVP card, he's going to get dash and dead eye. He's going to have a 99 speed, like a 97 throw power. Guys, his next card is going to break the game. It's going to be glitchier than any uh, big card we've had in the last five years of Ultimate Team. I promise you that. That's why I'm holding on to him. Next on the list is Patrick Mahomes. Now, this Mahomes is only above him for one reason. This Mahomes right here at the moment, compared to my Vic, you compare the throwing stats. He has way better throw power. So powered up and chemmed up. This Mahomes will get escape artist. He'll have like a 99 throw power on my team. He'll have a 92 short accuracy, like a 93 medium accuracy, a 94 deep accuracy, a 94 throw under pressure, a 95 throw under throw on the run, like an 84 play action, and he gets escape artist, dashing dead eye, and another other ability you want on him. So that alone right there, dashing dead eye is a huge ability to have, and he's going to have it, which is pretty huge. The only difference is he's not as fast as Lamar, but for now, that dashing dead eye is huge with that level of accuracy. So Mahomes is the best quarterback, probably Madden at the moment. Next on the list is a guy that I don't personally have because I don't have the extra points to have him. He's kind of like a luxury. But guys, being that he's one of the only cards in the game that like the first one of the first cards to get a uh, human joystick, I feel like you have to pick him up at some point if you can afford him. Devin Hester, 480k, not horrible. Guys, his stats on paper suck. Like he can't catch, he can't route run. But he's a he's a he's a gadget player. He's like a tire. He's like a worse Tyree kill. Okay, better at better with the ball. Worse at getting the ball. Tyree kill sometimes has his issues getting the ball. But honestly, Tyree kill plays in this game like he does in real life. Like he, he shouldn't catch a lot of things that he does, but he does. But Devin Hester's stats do scare me away. But guys, I've used him powered up and chemmed up with a shaker or sprinter. He's gonna have like 97, 98 speed. Plus, his agility is going to be almost a 99. His acceleration is gonna be like a 96. And then his carrying is actually really good for wide receiver. 86 carrying, 
Plus, he gets protective custody, which means he can't fumble to lose yards with him. Kick return 94, elusive 92, ball carry vision 91, 91 spin, 92 juke. This card's insane. And he gets human joystick. Human joystick, for you guys who don't know, is pretty much like literally what it seems like. Like turn, twist. You can do anything you want with him. He doesn't have to do that stupid animation that you guys all hate. The animation where you cut left real quick and he's like... That little slow old Madden animation where you get tackled, you lose all your momentum. He doesn't have to do that. He can literally, it's like old school Madden with him. You can just go left, right, up, down, human joystick. He's really glitchy. A lot of kick returns. When I play him, I get scared. He gets a lot of kick returns. You throw drags to him, takes it up the field. You throw little short routes to him. You can even streak him if you really want to. He's going to have a little trouble on guys like Night Train Lane. On Dion, he might be okay because his Dion's press isn't too great. But Devin Hester is definitely a must. You got to try him at least once. I already did in the gameplay. He was really solid, but I didn't have enough coins to maintain him for right now. Next one, Tony Gonzalez, guys. Tony Gonzalez is different. I'm not joking. This year, with the way tight end plays, Madden was smart this year. They knew the way their game played. They could not give us an overpowered tight end early. Every tight end early was always slow, chunky, couldn't do much. Now, when they finally gave us Kittle, I finally started to feel a glimpse of, of speed for a little bit in Evan Ingram. Now, guys, this year, a lot of the times, my tight ends always matched up on an outside linebacker or a middle linebacker. He's never really on a actual coverage, and I promise you, with bad route running and everything, I did amazing against linebackers. Now, Tony Gonzalez powered up my team. He has middle middle 95s like route running. 96 good word for today's video is Dion. Comment down below, Dion. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below your content. What you do all those things you're interested in. Good luck. Expect catch. 96 catching. Like he has almost, I believe my team like an 89 speed. When he does those little flag routes, he first when he makes his cut, his cuts are so precise because he's a 95 route running. That the linebackers literally like stutter. They can't even do it. And right when I throw it on the cut, he has a burst of speed because he's fast. So he catches it and he cuts right upfield. 60 yards. And the beauty of him is that he doesn't really get caught up to. See, Kittle used to get caught up to because he had an 85 speed. Gonzalez has enough speed, so when he gets that cut, he gets that he gets a little separation there. So he can ride that separation out at least for 45 yards. And sometimes he gets caught, but other times he can take it almost all the way. And he could juke. I'm not even joking. When I do jukes with him, he actually jukes people out and he gets his acceleration going pretty quickly. Unlike Kittle, when he does a juke, it was like that slow ass, like that juke where you completely get tackled that you just get an extra few yards so that that's not bad at all to be quite honest with you guys i think you definitely gotta try out tony gonzalez at some point this year madden next is a guy that i actually think i might use my free nfl 100 uh solo card on i think it, i might my might i'm not entirely sure yet. ronnie lot ronnie lot guys he's gonna be different i haven't got to try him yet but trust me this card's going to be different compare him to my guy my guy brian dawkins has been robbed I mean, he's been on my team for the pretty much the whole year and he's still killing it right now because of his height, his his speed, height, zone, hit power combo. So Ronnie Lott, what is he? Same height. He's gonna be faster than Brian Dawkins by three speed powered up. He's gonna be faster by seven Excel powered up. So right there, if Brian Dawkins was getting picks and stuff for me now and, and catching up to balls, imagine what Ronnie Lott could do. He's gonna be a better tackler. He's gonna be a secure tackler. He's gonna have above 90 tackle. His player X is gonna be almost the same. His pursuit's gonna be almost the same. But his pursuit's gonna be slightly better. Now his man coverage is gonna be useful when I when I blitz and he plays man and. Brian Dawkins is already pretty decent in the man. His zone's going to be way better. He's going to be plus three zone. And his hit power, powered up and chemed up, might actually get to like a 99. Guys, he is Ronnie Lott. Ronnie Lott is Brian Dawkins V2. Like, that's all he is. And Brian Dawkins still plays great for me. So I know Ronnie Lott's going to be different. I recommend you guys try him out. I heard a lot of crazy things about him. Now, this next guy is a guy you probably wouldn't expect. I actually have him as my running back right now. And that's Amon Green. Putting him at number five, guys. This card is insane. Amon Green. They gave us a nasty legend card yesterday that I was not expecting at all. Guys, this card right here. I haven't powered up. So he's got 94 speed. Okay. So he's as fast as Eric Dickerson and Barry Sanders. 94 acceleration. Same thing as, as Eric Dickerson. He loses that on Barry Sanders. Agility, 92. Great agility. 90 carrying. Good carrying. 76 catching is honestly really good, guys, compared to most running backs. Like, that's not bad. 87 elusiveness solid ain't no berry but solid 94 trucking great trucking 93 break tackle so now you're like okay so he's about as powerful as eric dickerson and about as fast as eric dickerson same excel as eric dickerson so why wouldn't you put eric dickerson here don't get me wrong eric dickerson might be better but you know what by the way he's 85 strength you know what else he can get oh and let's see his juke and spin his juke and spin is going to be a, he's a 92 stiff arm, a 90 juke move, and a 78 spin. I don't care because I don't spin. Now, look at the abilities he gets. He gets arm bar. He gets bruiser. He gets jukebox. He gets freight train. He gets wrecking ball. Guys, it's unreal. He's the first running back in Madden with that speed 
power combo with those abilities. Eric Dixon has the speed power combo, but he can't get armbar and he can't get bruiser. Amon Green gets bruiser and jukebox with that level of speed. And it, guys, he's unreal. Amon Green is a great, great running back. He's going to be my running back for the time being. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to rock with him, see how I like him for a while. I definitely loved him so far, but I really got to see how he plays online more. I only played a few games with him, but I, he was feeling crazy good to me. It all depends on who you play, obviously. Next on the list is going to be Deion Sanders. Guys, yeah, this is Deion. Probably my favorite card in the game. At least one of them. I can't put him at first because I'd just be dumb because he's a cornerback. But, guys, this, this is Deion Sanders. On my team with everything, on my abilities, he ends up with like a 98 speed, a 97 excel, I believe 97 agility, 94 jumping. His his, zone, his man's like a 98 on my team with his lockdown maxed out. His zone's like a 94, 95, and his press is like an 82, 83. Guys, this card... When he get first off, if a ball's in his vicinity, he gets a pick. Like there's, there's no there's no there's no debate there. He's getting the pick. Not to mention, he's taking it back to the house. He's so fun to play with. He's so fun to have on your team. And he doesn't kick return for me anymore because I have Tyree Kill, but he's still out there. Trust me, this card is great. I love this Deion Sanders. You cannot go wrong with him. He can do so much for you. And again, it's just so much for his jumping. Like the things he can jump is crazy. He'll jump routes you can't expect. He'll People will throw like comebacks where you completely were beat and he'll somehow manage to get like a burst of speed and get right in front of it. At least disrupted. And he gets universal coverage, which is an awesome, awesome ability. Next is Lawrence Taylor. Now I gotta still pick him up too. He might be my other guy that I might take for my uh, free NFL 100. I haven't decided yet. Now him right here, guys. This Lawrence Taylor fully powered up and chemed up. He's gonna have a 90 speed. So he's gonna have the 90 speed threshold. Above 91 excel, above 90 strength, above 90 tackle, above 90 play rec, above 90 block shot, above 90 power, above 90 finesse move. He's gonna be above all 90 right outside linebacker. He's gonna be crazy. If he gets an insta shot on you, he's gonna get to your quarterback like that. Like it's gonna be instant. He's too fast. He's too much excel. He's too dominant. I cannot wait to get this Lawrence Taylor. And he's six foot three. He can get picks, although more than likely you'll probably always have him rushing, so you won't ever have to worry about actually getting picks. But that's how I run my scheme. Next, guys, this guy's stats look crazy. Randy Moss. His new card looks crazy. I have him on my team. I've only I haven't got to try him too much. I but when I have tried him, he's felt insane. This new Randy Moss my team, 96 overall. 95 speed, 96 jumping, 94 catching, 91 catch in traffic, 96 back catch, 90 short route running, 89 medium route running, 96 deep route running. On my team, he has 99 deep route running, 90 medium route, above 90 short, 98 to 99 spec catch, above like I think like a 92 is catch traffic, 95 catching, 97 jumping, and I believe he has a 96 speed on my team. Guys. Why have anyone like Tyree Kill and stuff when you can have a guy like Randy Moss? Randy Moss is just as fast as any other wide receiver right now in Madden. Combined with the probably the best catching of like any wide receiver in Madden. Combine that with one of the best route running ever set wide receiver in Madden. And put that in the body of a six foot four animal. Guys, this Randy Moss is unstoppable. Put like Moss on him, streak specialist, post and in specialist. Put, you can put so many things in him, make this card OP as hell. I'm telling you guys, this Randy Moss is different. You gotta pick that up. Now, first on the list. It's hard. A guy that I can't argue with because I've seen it. I've seen it against me. I've seen it happen. Eric Dickerson, among green guys, is just as good as Eric Dickerson, but there's a reason that Eric Dickerson is still takes the nod above him, and that's because Eric Dickerson starts the game with NFL 100 free train. And I've seen people who can have free train from play one and don't lose the whole game, because free train pretty much means you can't be tackled in the first tackle. So even when you blow up, typically when you blow up a run, it's usually like one guy. So if you blow up his run, he's breaking that tackle because he has free train. And then if he breaks that, he's gone. Or if you blitz him and you get seven guys in and that one guy gets to him and he breaks that, now you have no linebacker core. He's gone. I'm telling you, it's crazy. The only way you can you really get him, you have to like run commit pretty much or really stack the box and hope that you can get rid of that freight train early before you start giving up a bunch of passing plays. This Eric Dixon's unreal. Compared to my Amon Green though, very similar cards. They have the same speed powered up. Amon Green actually has more Excel powered up. Similar carrying, similar agility. Way better catching for Amon Green. Similar elusiveness. Uh, better trucking for Amon Green and better break tackle actually for Amon Green. So Amon Green's a better power back, a better speed back, or a quicker back I should say, a better catching back. He beats him pretty much everywhere. The only difference is that, well, the, and Amon Green gets bruiser, arm bar, jukebox, inside zone guru, and Eric Dixon doesn't. The only difference between all of these cards right here, literally the only, and he's stronger, the only difference is that Eric Dickerson gets free train to start the game. It's the only difference and that's what keeps him above right now but i still think i think among green's the better back i think eric dickerson provides the better situation but guys that is about it for the video i hope you guys did enjoy that was my top 10 list i hope this helps you guys i think this was a pretty great list now guys if you made it this far in the video make sure to enter the 25 days of food miss all you gotta do to enter is like the video subscribe to the channel comment down below the secret word you heard throughout the video and your console what you're listening to win good luck thank you guys so much for watching i'm out see you guys next video peace